Okay, ladies, this video right here is specifically for you. The reason why I'm making this video specifically for the ladies is because I've noticed that there are a lot of women who love to generalize and marginalize and, you know, put all the men in the same category, saying things like, you know, all men are the same, you know, there's a shortage of men, chivalry is dead, all that stuff. When the truth is, You've probably passed up on a lot of guys who believes in chivalry, who believes in being committed to one woman because he doesn't look like this. He doesn't have the beard, he doesn't have the complexion, you know, he may not have the right height. Or maybe it's because he doesn't have all this right here. Not him, not... No, I'm talking about the money he's flaunting and stuff. You. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Some of y'all even fall for these guys that portray this false image of themselves on social media. Oh, I'll be watching. Mm-hmm. I see how a lot of y'all be posting pictures and memes of all these nice looking buff dudes, you know what I'm saying, with the towels wrapped around their waist, you know what I'm saying, and things showing and stuff. Then y'all looking at all these videos with these strippers doing all these stripper dances. Okay, I may have been a stripper in my former life. Don't judge me though. The point that I'm trying to make to you is this. It's easy to pass up on the man that you need. It's easy to pass up on the man that God has set aside specifically for you if he doesn't possess all of the ideal qualities that you want in a man. Because let's be honest, chivalry isn't dead. It's just not coming from the type of man that you want. Mm -hmm. Now don't get me wrong. Men have a very fair assessment of a woman's overall attractiveness. That doesn't mean that we're not shallow. Because we are. Mm -hmm. It's just that women tend to have the more unrealistic expectations and standards of the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. And I get it, you can't force a connection that you know just isn't there. But at the same time, because of your unrealistic expectations and standards, it's real easy to pass up on the person before the connection can even begin. Not saying that it's wrong to have standards and expectations. Of course you should have them. It's very important that you protect yourself, protect your peace, guard your heart. It's very important that you stay very mindful of who you connect with. That is very important. Everybody should do that. Just don't let those perfect expectations, those high standards, cause you to pass up on the guy who could very well be the man for you. And understand that the man that you need, he's not going to be perfect. He may not match the ideal male that you have in your head, but he will always make sure that he adores you, loves you, treats you like a queen, make sure that you are top priority, make sure that you come second to nothing or no one. Don't pass up on the man that you need for the man that you want. Let that marinate.